So we're out here, it's a lovely day. We're out here with two 811s um, doing an afternoon test. Um, we've got some of the team out here. We've got Ross, sales director, Danny, operations director, Beth, head of finance, and Chris, lead designer. Um, so we're gonna go through these boats and um, check them out, check they're all working properly. So we're just gonna do some of the running tests now. So um, top speed, acceleration, cornering, etc. This 811, which looks gorgeous, is a, gonna be a tender to a large super yacht. Um, so we're going to get underway and see how it goes. Oh, look at that bow, man! Yeah, it's Absolutely awesome! Oh, yes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. That bow really does have to be uh, so nice. If you can come past flat out, then we can see it, how it sits at top speed in that configuration. Yeah. James, what are they doing there? So we're gonna do, we're gonna, Danny's gonna go get it up to absolute top speed. Yeah. Um, and then we can obviously check how she's running with that configuration. You know, because that's a different console to what we've done before. Uh, obviously, we, you know, we did a lot of centre of gravity testing on this, longitudinal centre of gravity testing. I think you've got the balance right looking at it. Yeah. You know, you can always see that best at absolute flat out. So. Oh, look at that. Rooster. Yes. Absolute rooster. Yeah. <laughs> that looked awesome. Such a good boat. Did the rooster with that? Yeah. Makes you so proud, doesn't it? I love how you can just see the boat coming out of the mist. Yeah. Its pickup is incredible, though, isn't it? Like, already, though. It's a serious bow. So balanced. Look at that. Riding. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to so be at 50 cool. knots. That's so cool. The thing is, though, at 50 knots, it's so balanced. Yeah. Oh, it's so planted. You know, normally at that, when you've got a load of trim, yeah, you've got you're, to kind you're, of... You're on the edge. You know, that it's like just, a, you've got to drive it a bit. Yeah. But at that, you could just sit back yeah. and smile. No, so you can just see it just sat in the water perfectly. Um, you can tell by the hair, yeah. How was that, Dan? Absolutely amazing, mate. Yeah. Yeah, just... Uh, yeah, the response, the mid, mid-range mid response is beautiful. Yeah. Get what did up. you get up to? Uh, just, just shy of 50. Lovely. Yeah. So How did that feel at the back, guys? Yeah, because right. how dry it is, like no water. Brilliant. Chris, are you uh, pleased you um, redesigned the aft porch handle? Yeah. It's just it's just right there where you want it. Chris, yeah. You feel really, really like comfortable and stable. Yeah, you've done a great job. The um the weight rack system at the back as well. That's staying completely solid. It is. And yes. when you run it when you run it longitudinally, it looks really purposeful. Yeah, there's no movement. You can't hear anything either. Nothing's rattling. Awesome. It's all, yeah, flimsy works really, really well as well. The lateral support as well, the big, I was chucking in quite a few big things there. Yeah, really support me, I loved it, really good. It looks great while it's going. I think the most, most incredible thing is like, we're going through some white bank turns, yeah. and there was like, there was no water coming over at all. We're like, completely dry. It's a dry boat. Why don't you jump on board, and one of the guys take you through the folding console and also the removable ski pole which will allow it to be stowed in a low profile garage. So just going to take you through a couple of features on this tender. Um, this is our removable ski pole solution, really nice machined um, 316 marine grade stainless steel mounted into an acetal um, bearing system so that you don't get any vibration, makes it really really strong. Simply remove the pole and then we have a lovely machined acetal cap there that most of the time it will live like that. So really you're only going to be using the pole when you need to. This tent is also fitted with our YT folding console. Um, key thing for us when we were designing this console was obviously ease of maintenance like all of our tenders but we also wanted to still have you know a proper stand-up driving position so we've, we've absolutely achieved that and then simply two fully load rated locks you undo those and then tilt the console forward and you can see how much lower it goes, but also gives you that very, very clear, easy access to the wiring for ongoing maintenance. All aboard, kids. 
Okay guys, so we've got the rest of the team in the black um, A811. We're gonna do some running shots before giving you a walkthrough of this specification. Okay, Beth, do you wanna take the It's back interesting, Dan, when you sit on the bolster on that seat, how well that foot plate is in the right position. Really you put right. the bolster up and sit on it, and then yeah. you put the feet on it. I'm gonna head that way and come past, guys, yeah? Yeah, okay. We're all holding yeah. that comfortably? Uh, yeah. We're gonna sit down and use the shock suspension units. Okay, holding on. Yeah. How did that feel, Ross? Amazing. Yeah? You know what, considering we've got such shade cover right now, you can't really feel like you've got any additional weight over no. the open boat. And I think the small amount of weight I can feel with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ross. Uh, really good, really good. Yeah. Felt awesome, you know, it's just addictive going one of these, so you just keep on going. Uh, it looks so the, good. The was super stable as well. Brilliant. Super stable, even when we were... No, no, it's there, it is. Yeah. And it's silent, you know, yeah. you don't get any whistling or anything, yeah. even when you get up to like 50 knots. Yeah. It looks so nice as well, like obviously the carbon and the e-glass, it just looks so premium. Danny was saying, sat down as well. You know, you were stood up, you were stood up doing the sea tests on that one, but when you actually sit down into the bucket seats and get behind this windscreen, yeah, it's super, super stable. Yeah, yeah it's so stable. Right, so Ross, what's your favourite feature on that boat? I think my favourite feature now, because we went out on another 811 in all black with twin screens the other day, the main difference of this boat by the screens is the um, the carbon master T-top. Yeah. So we've used carbon just to keep the weight down, but keep the, the, the strength of the design. This is finished with a moulded piece of e-gas, and um, this is like a powder coated aluminium frame. So it keeps the weight down, gives you a proper frame, proper shade, and um, well, obviously works gives you good shape. In the UK, I don't think you really need that, but because it looks so cool, I'd, I'd still specify one if I was building my own. Yeah, I agree. I completely agree. Okay, one final thing I want to show you before we head back into Dartmouth is um, when building this boat with the owner, boarding was a really important thing. So, do you want to grab the um, carbon boarding bolts that we have? Now, the owner specified these GRP boarding steps, which work really well along with the R4. Just inside here, we've got another one of those stainless steel inserts which receive the, uh, the thread. So if I push that in like so, basically the thread distributes the load. And when you get to the bottom, suddenly this pole becomes nice and stiff and solid. Then you've got your boarding pole for either using that step or this step here. All right, guys, we're done. Danny, you drive this one. I'm going to jump in with James and Sophie. Let's go. Let's do this. Look at that boat, man. Absolute oh, weapon. It's insane. I love how good the underwater lights look against black as well. You know, like purpley blue, it just goes so well against the black. You see, like the propeller spinning as well, yeah. amazing gear. And like the back hood on the Yamaha is like so cool. Honestly, I think that's one of the most badass boats I've ever built. Oh, it is. And it's I'm gorgeous. Not just there, man. It's gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do, do it.
so so check out this. We've got the new um, Princess R35. Wow. James, look at that. Absolutely beautiful boat. Designed by Green Green. Manufactured in the southwest. Nice looking boat. So this one. I just think that the bow shape is just so perfect. Like when you're going along, you can see how it dissipates the water, yeah. and it's just keeping everybody so dry. Yeah. I mean, we were just going like what 50 knots then, yeah. and I'm and it's absolutely bone dry. Yeah. I mean, it just inspires confidence, doesn't it? Yeah. No, it's just incredible. You see how it just sits there, proud. Taking out these two incredible boats, and they honestly amaze me every time I go out in them. They're just so good.